This was for the birth of our third child, Michaela. And this time, um, the idea is that there are three seeds carved actually inside the hands. And the hands, of course, represent the hands of Christ. And so that's Michaela's spoon. On this side, then, we see the name Benjamin. And of course, the sixpenny bit, known as the tanner, went out of circulation. And a tree then was for our willow wedding anniversary. And then the other thing that's recorded, on this side we see a very small beetle. That was the year sadly John Lennon was murdered, the beetle. And again we see our initials carved inside a heart. Again, a K, a T and a J, a small and a larger version. So that was the spoon for 1980. This is the spoon for 1981. As you can see, it's got um, a simple rugged cross and it's got a candle representing the light of the world and on the candle then you have the name Nicodemus. And the idea of this spoon is that as the candle burns, so the word Nicodemus disappears and you're left then as that candle would burn down, you're left with the two letters at the bottom, US, which is us, and of course we disappear in Christ. The um, spoon has a break in, um, in the actual bowl, and the wood was chosen uh, with a, a, a natural sort of flaw in it. And um, the idea is that um, to work for God, you have to be broken of self. Our fourth child, David, was expected, and in fact born during this year, 1982. So we didn't want to go back to the tradition, so we decided to um, express children in a different way. So we have four arrows carved inside a quiver shape. And it's very relevant for 1982, because uh, although it's a strange way to portray children with arrows, it was 1982, the year of the Falklands crisis. You had the Tudor warship the Mary Rose, uh, which was raised with lots of arrows on board, and the first disabled woman athlete to win a gold medal in the Commonwealth Games, and she won that in archery. So the arrows were quite relevant for that particular year. You have one eye open, one eye closed. You have a heart of flesh, a heart of stone. Fish swimming freely on this side, they're strung up on that side. The idea being, to get to this side, you have to go through Christ. There's a net of crosses there. You have the sheep and the goats, the wheat and the tares. You see the sickle because they're both cut down. The tares are consumed in the wild flames of the devil. You have the devil's trident inside the, the wild flames. Whereas the wheat is stored with the free gift of eternal life when the roll is called up yonder. Uh, one of my grandmother's favourite hymns. And then the light of the world, a little simple candle representing the light of the world which overpowers the wild flames of the devil. One of the main news items for 1984 was the situation in Ethiopia. Band Aid was started and um, there were problems in Ethiopia. Too much sun, not enough rain. Uh, the other uh, news item was the um, miner strike and so I could see on the television the pit head that they were showing so that gave us the um, idea of the uh, balance and together with the um, sun being carved on one side the rain on the other what we were trying to say is how fortunate we are in our country to have a balance of sun and rain compared with countries like Ethiopia I can't the word grace on a cross because I was given the interpretation for the word grace as God's riches available in Christ for everyone. How do we receive God's riches? We simply open our hearts. And of course the tune plays Amazing Grace. And you have the Dove of Peace carved inside. 1985 and it's a simple nativity scene but it's, it's the gospel in a nutshell. And it's made out of elm, in fact. And we have 
Um, the idea of this spoon is that the question is how many pieces of wood are there? When you look closely, you see a ball inside, a ball inside the outer shell. And um, it represents the Trinity. Because, of course, that was the year that the um, Bishop of Durham disputed the virgin birth. So we're posing the question, if he was concerned about the nativity and the virgin birth, then what did he make of the uh, Trinity? So it's a very simple explanation. You have one, two, three pieces of wood, and yet it's only one piece of wood, but there are three in one. And that's our simple spoon for 1985. The question we're asking is, what is the key to life? Is it, uh, is the answer, that is the key to life uh, in, in space? This is the Space Shuttle Challenger, which unfortunately exploded uh, during that year. So does the key to life lie in space? Is the key to life your hobby? Carving, love spoons maybe, or whatever. Is the key to life money? That was the year that Andrew, uh, Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson were married. We record that with a very simple A and an S inside, um, or planted onto the money side. Is the key to life money? Is it stardom, being famous on TV, etc.? Is that the key to life? On the other side, we have a treble clef. Is it music? Is it pop idols? Is that the key to life? On this side, we have some matchstick type people. And that represents the family. Is the key to life your family? And before we get to the last one, we see a mirror. In other words, is the key to life self? Or of course, is it the cross? We're very fortunate in our country to have the freedom to choose the key to life. Uh, again, they were having a famine in Mozambique. And so the spoon has a representation of a seed with um, wheat sort of growing. And it just says, God, uh, thanks to God for um, the harvest. Unfortunately, there's enough food grown in the world, but of course, um, it, it isn't distributed in a fair way. So the hands were stained and that's the natural mahogany. 1988 and the Turin Shroud was being tested uh, to see whether it was authentic and coincidentally we chose this piece of wood and as um, you look on a certain angle it does sort of portray the image that was on the Turin Shroud. It depends on uh, the angle that you actually look at the spoon, but you will, the eye, it, it was just sort of within the piece of wood, the actual image. Uh, you could see like the um, sort of gaunt um, expression. And the spoon then is made on a walnut. You've got the heartwood of the walnut with the darker colour and the sapwood then on the outside. The idea was to try and give an impression of um, water, uh, the fleck inside the wood uh, was to be like a spray almost uh, to represent um, heaven and um, you see the uh, shepherd's crook which is sort of upside down and the idea is that Christ is pulling us through life and helping us as we go through life so it's a very sort of um, simple uh, carving so we have a nine and of course the naught for 1990. The wood is a piece of tulip wood and it was recycled from an old piano. So there's a walnut veneer that was on the top and um, it's, it's simply sort of saying that we can recycle a lot of wood. In the 90s of course the green issue uh, became, came to the forefront so we were sort of just simply recycling a piece of wood from an old piano for 1990. This one is a piece of apple wood and the idea revolves around here. You have uh, two hammer shapes and two sickle shapes. It reminds us that 1991, Russia was disbanded, or the Soviet Union was disbanded, and um, a number of things uh, locally. You have 
the tall ship uh, race, the tall ships race, actually started from Milford Haven that year, 1991. And it was the Iraq War. So this was the target that we were seeing on the TV screens. Uh, almost like a computer game that war appeared to be. And then we go to prison bars with a scarf and an eyepiece. That was the year Terry Waite was released from prison. prison. And those were some of the items that he um, was allowed to keep. And the main thing of the spoon is the, is the letter Q. It represents Queen. And of course, Freddie Mercury died that particular year. And the idea of the spoon is uh, uh, like a fishing uh, weight. And this is the hook. And the question we're asking is, what are you hooked on? And uh, as you look at the uh, strange looking fish, the idea is that you focus on this lovely piece of wood at the top in the shape of a cross. And the wood for that one was apple.